Hi, welcome to part two of this banana painting. Uh, in uh, part one, I did an underpainting, and this part two will be about all about coloring it, painting it realistic. I already premixed my colors. Let's roll. This is our ready underpainting, dry, and here are premixed colors from darker to lighter. This will be for fruit inner part. This is for the peel skin of banana. How I mix these colors? I used cadmium yellow, cadmium a very very small amount of cadmium red and ultramarine blue and in different uh, percentage variations add, added a little bit of uh, titanium white and this is uh, royal blue I will add it I tried it here for the very light parts so the light is cool and the shadow is warm this mix was made with adding a little bit of burnt umber. Okay, we can start. I will start with darker parts of banana. All colors, as I said, are premixed of three primaries yellow red and blue um, in the percentage it would be 90 percent of cadmium yellow and five and five would be ultramarine and cadmium red and then i see what i needed more uh, like in this particular i used more of cadmium red to make it um, warmer tone as in my case, banana was photographed in uh, north facing light. That means that lights were cool and shadows are warm. That's what I need to remember. When I'm applying colors. First time testing how I'm feeling with this all and what should I pay attention first brush strokes are very um, raw and rough now I'm adding a little bit of burnt umber to the very edge and also I can see that I need to add here at this edge like that burnt umber goes very nice with this mix when I need to take lighter or any other pigment I clean my brush I'm using odorless turpentine. Spending quite a lot of time in the studio, so if I would have a classic turpentine, I think I would have had hallucinations <laughs> at this point. That's why I'm using odorless. It's safe, and I have kids here, so if somebody's allergic to quite strong odors then I would I would suggest also use odorless turpentine it's doing job the same 
as a classical one but without the heavy smell building my tonal values here slowly observing on my in uh to my reference getting back to it all the time checking if everything is correct everything is right and slowly building my banana observe and think what do you see where the light is hitting where it is the most lightest where is the darkest think what you see Think of the light source. Think of the curves. Where goes what? What? What is covered with some other? What is maybe shown to the light? Don't go straight to the light part with uh, plain titanium white. You can always add it at the end. Have your lightest mixed and add their titanium white to make it a tone lighter. Don't go straight with the titanium white. Like in, this is the lightest part of the skin. So I'm not using straight titanium white. Maybe at the end to give it a little more shine but this peel is quite um, so it's not a shiny type of peel like would have apple but this is like more matte blending brush I will use it here to blend my shadow of the peel right to the I can see what I need to add here it goes further And again, blend. Like that. And now I need this part. And also blending. Looks nice. Here. I can see that I need more. This one here. I'm taking a smaller brush. For, for little detailed touches of this area.
Let's go need more. Needs more. And carefully goes to a little bit darker here. like that and I see that my mm, my little what's that little tail of banana I didn't do it right with the lights and shadows this is a little bit in the shadow There will be a middle part. Then the corner is exposed to light. The corner of this is exposed to light. And then it goes a little bit darker here. And blend this. Yes, better like that. And then there is a spot of a little darker, darker, darker. And then there goes this. Adding some lighter. Later we'll add some little hairs to this part. Just I'm just recreating the base color. All the details will be shown at the later when I have them my base color. A corner is darker. Corner is darker. Okay, can go back to peel, back to the peel. I will add a little bit darker tone to the edge because it goes away from us and it has a little shadow. And then we have, this is quite darker this edge here Taking a smaller brush to make more precise and thinner brush strokes. And then I will cover this one, which is the furthest and darkest. I need to make it a little bit lighter, not so intense. And now blend them together. Like that. Now I will add the inner part of banana skin. Inner part, I will start with a darker tone. Even I can go darker with it, I think. Okay, we'll start with this one. This is the same mix, but uh, really a, a small amount of that uh, mix, which was yeah, cadmium yellow and red and ultramarine. And then I added uh, titanium white. Okay. 
So all here tones are relatives. <laughs> all have the one recipe. It only depends on intensity of the added pigments. Experiment. Have a banana right beside your mixing board. We have lots of bananas in the shop, so I think it wouldn't be a problem. So here are all together one, two, three, four, five pigments. Two light. And I will cover the banana itself. This is too light here. Covering all the banana. And I will add some lighter part here. Carefully blend in. And then again, a half tone of this. Goes till here. And then I'm making a darker tone, adding burnt umber. Blending brush. And the shadow part. Let's recreate the shadow part. Which is here. And goes here. I'm constantly looking at my reference. As should you while you are painting, even when uh, listening to this demonstration, just pause and analyze what you see. It really will help to understand what are you doing. Don't just go with uh, without thinking. It's important to, to know what you are doing to understand your brush strokes, uh, why the shadow here or light there. It's important to understand all that. Later we will be adding details, but not yet. Not yet. My blending brush. I'm blending and smoothing, as you can see. Now I can see that I need to add a lighter part here. the darker part here as well as lower here it goes a little bit inwards closer to bananas so I'm creating there a little curve which has shadows of course that. Here we will have a line visible through skin. Details will be added a little bit later, but still I can, everything has a base coat. 
I need to create a good background on which to work details Also in the light. And something visible from the behind that peel. We'll add that later. And now I need to I'm cleaning my brush, adding a darker tone here, which is the darkest spot here in this banana thing, so it's the darkest spot. And slowly going to lighter. So this is the darkest. Spot. Then I have to cover this peel, inner, inner side of the peel. Need a little bit more of burnt umber and the mix that I have. I want to add more yellow here because it is a little bit shining through on top of the dark mix I'm adding a little bit of yellow as it is a little bit shining through and burnt umber Here's the also a very quite dark spot, but not as dark as this one, so I will need to make it lighter than that part. A little bit lighter. Oh, too much light. I will blend it. And I have a light corner of this peel, which is this one. Maybe too light, but still it's quite light. more like that and then a very dark little corner inside here which slowly goes into more lighter not so dark blending and now I need some Yellow mix. And of, uh, of comparing as uh, what I do when I look at my reference and compare one object to other, like in this case, I'm comparing this peel, edge of the peel, to this skin, banana skin. I can see that in my reference this part is darker than this so i need to add a darker shadow to this area as you can see i'm separating a skin from this peel instantly 
adding contrast more intense and I create this oh sorry I'm just moving a little bit away that's the best way of comparing stepping one two steps back from your painting and looking from distance okay what I can see more oh there's the further further part here isn't but it's not so light it will uh, this one is lighter sorry about that again I'm comparing I'm putting pigment close to what I see and when I have it on my canvas I can compare in this case I see that this is too light because the corner of uh, fruit of banana is lighter so now I'm taking a lighter here and I'm already creating this kind of banana fruit texture and it's not going right to this very because here's a little area of shadow I need to notice that again and, and still I'm not using plain titanium white pigment I have my mixed so again here is this texture like banana has and then there will be some parts of visible that here I am dancing with my brush maybe we'll remove some carefully and there here they are too obvious so I'm taking my new blending brush and creating other texture maybe not so obvious and there they have this kind of lines this banana fruit like that something like that observing carefully what you see and also here will be some of these and I can see that I need a more darker lines here maybe too intense we'll remove them a little bit the darker line goes there yes too dark too intense here this part is a little bit in shadow Now I'm creating a little shadow from this line. Like that. And now I will take my white, titanium white, with a little little touch of the lightest mix and add some few details which I can see are the lightest ones and 
the lightest pigment goes really at last to add some really needed light spots and now of on this peel going to this peel it also has this texture texture like rough ruffles fruit and this is the lightest part it's a little bit going over the edge some goes here darker and then some are here in the light not so intense will make them a little bit darker again i'm comparing looking at my reference and seeing that it's not so bright and then i think i need this edge no this edge Else. Now I'm taking again the lightest of lights, add more titanium white, and add some lightest spots here, which is the most exposed to the light, like that. And then with plain titanium white, I can see that here are some little hairs like that here are some little pieces going over oh, banana not so bright too bright Lightest light very accurately and very pr comparing and looking is it will be the right thing to do here. I think yes, this will be a nice contrast. So this is a quite fast banana study painting, and I will think about the background. For the background, you can choose whatever you like, or which, whatever color you like, or you can leave it white, or you can leave it this with underpainting. You can cover it, I don't know, dark and make a... It's your choice. Thanks for watching. Hope you found, found it interesting. Learn something new. See you in my next demonstration to you. Bye-bye.